Hello to you, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon time when you, of course, jump on our YouTube page and check out our tropical forecast. And I'm here to give you an update on what's cooking, what's happening out there. We do have a new system that developed over the last few days and it could pose some problems to parts of the US. So it may be getting closer and closer to the end of hurricane season, but we are still dealing with tropical troubles out there. So let's get right to it. This is a closer look at subtropical storm Nicole. So this system not quite reaching full tropical characteristics yet, but it will start to push into a more favorable environment to develop into a complete tropical system. And I do think we will see that transition over to either a tropical storm and most likely a hurricane over the next couple of days. So here's the latest with subtropical storm Nicole. It is still a few hundred miles off to the east of the Bahamas, but we currently have the movement off to the northwest at nine miles per hour and maximum sustained winds are still holding steady at 45 miles per hour as of the latest advisory. And we've got the location right at 26.6 degrees north, 70.6 degrees west and pressure at 1000 millibars. So it is looking fairly organized, but I do think over the next 24 hours, it really starts to get its act together and we start to see it developing into a tropical storm. In fact, that's what the official forecast says. We will likely have a tropical storm developing by Wednesday around midnight, likely around 50 miles per hour. Then it's going to jump to about 70 miles per hour as we go into Wednesday around lunchtime. So that's going to be close to hurricane status as it is nearing the northwestern Bahamas. So the forecast does officially call for this to briefly strengthen to a hurricane by Wednesday evening, and that is going to be right around the time it's beginning to push past the northwestern Bahamas. But you can see here that area in red that is a hurricane warning for portions of the northwestern Bahamas and then the area that you see across portions of the east coast of Florida under a hurricane watch already. So this could be a pretty big deal for folks in the Bahamas and also for folks across the Florida Peninsula especially. But we do have a lot of impacts expected from this, potentially several inches of rain that could lead to some flooding. Storm surge will be a threat and also the threat for some damaging wind gusts. Of course, we could have some gusts over 80 miles per hour as we go into Wednesday night and Thursday as it is nearing the Florida East Coast. It's not not going to just stop there. In fact, look at this track. I think by Thursday, this system will still have 45 mile per hour winds right around lunchtime on Thursday, but it will briefly push into the eastern Gulf of Mexico before it makes that curve back to the northeast and likely rolls right over Jacksonville, Florida as we go into Friday around lunchtime, still as a tropical storm. Then it's going to make more of a curve to the northeast and it appears that it's just going to kind of ride right along the east coast so just lashing the coast with some choppy waves with that high rip current risk with the threat for heavy rain that could lead to flooding and of course the strong gusty winds and also when you have a landfalling and weakening tropical system that large scale circulation starts to break down into some smaller scale circulations and that could increase that tornado threat with that extra rotation in the atmosphere. So we've got to watch this closely. Multiple threats with this. It will continue to ride right along the east coast of bringing the threat for heavy rain and some strong damaging wind and then increased threat for severe thunderstorms to portions of the Georgia coast, the Carolina coast and even up into parts of the northeast. In fact, by this weekend, Saturday into Sunday, we're still talking about this potentially still being a tropical depression or maybe starting to lose some of those tropical characteristics by then as it gets close to New York City. So it is going to impact a lot of cities right along the East Coast with that threat for heavy rain. And as I mentioned, that could lead to some flooding and initially that storm surge threat. So here's a closer look at some of the watches and warnings that we have. This is the portion of the Bahamas under the hurricane warning, the area that you see outlined in red. This is the northwestern Bahamas. So if you had already bought that plane ticket, you're hopping on that plane, maybe heading away for a few days, it's always nice to squeeze in a little mini vacation. Maybe you're planning to do that over the next few days. You could run into some problems in the northwestern Bahamas, so keep that in mind. Maybe your vacation plans were taking you to the Sunshine State, which is not going to be that sunny over the coming days. We've got hurricane watches for a big chunk of the east coast of Florida and some tropical storm watches to the north of the hurricane watches that you see here. So a lot of issues with this system expected for portions of Florida, so we will be monitoring things very closely to see what happens there. The good news for us here in Southeast Texas, 
We're not expecting any major impacts from that system. In fact, it will likely spread a little drier air our way since we'll be on the drier side of that system. We're also monitoring one other system out in the central Atlantic. It is this one here. This is still several hundred miles to the east of Bermuda, but it has a pretty high 60% chance to develop into a tropical cyclone, maybe a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the next two to five days. So we'll be monitoring for that development potential very closely, but at this point, it's not going to be any major threat to any land areas, so we've still got a while to watch this one, but it definitely could develop into a tropical depression or a tropical storm out there in the central Atlantic, and it is one that we will be monitoring closely. But that is about it as far as systems that we're closely monitoring right now. But here's a closer look at this system. Still not very organized. It's just a disturbance at this point, just an area of showers and storms. But it is forecast to move into a slightly more favorable environment. And we could start to see that area of low pressure developing, becoming more well-defined. And that could potentially mean another tropical system on our hands out in the Atlantic. It seems like we would be talking about these systems going away and becoming lesser and lesser, but you know, it's still hurricane season, so we've still got to deal with it. We still have that chance and we still have these systems blossoming out there. We've also still got pretty warm sea surface temps, temperatures in the 80s for much of the Caribbean, for much of the Gulf of Mexico. So if these systems continue to pop up, we've still got the fuel, that warm water to help them to develop and to strengthen. Of course, now we have subtropical storm Nicole. We dealt with Lisa and Martin recently, but now we're to Nicole. So we are actually getting through this list. It was a pretty slow start to the 2022 hurricane season, but we're picking up steam. We're getting going. We're about to start on this third and final list of names. So the next name on the list, if we did have that system that I just talked to you about in the central Atlantic to develop, would be Owen, then Paula, Richard, Sherry, Tobias, Virginia, and then Walter. Hopefully we won't get that far down the list. We've only got, let's see, less than a month, about three weeks left in hurricane season. We're right at November 7th for today, and hurricane season officially ends right at November 30th at the very end of the month. So we've got three more weeks to get through. Historically, we don't have a ton of tropical systems this time of the hurricane season since we're on the tail end. But just as you see with subtropical storm Nicole, not only can we have them, but they can still fire up and get pretty strong and they can turn into some pretty dangerous hurricanes. So we'll be watching Nicole as we go through the next few days. Looks like a pretty big threat for the Bahamas and for Florida, not for us. But of course, if you want to know more about what's happening in the tropics, what's happening locally with our weather, as we've been out today celebrating our world champion Astros with the big parade of champions, make sure you download the Fox 26 weather app. You can find all of the cool parade excitement on there some clips from that you can find of course our local forecast you can find plenty of information about what's happening in the tropics so definitely a lot going on across the city the weather fortunately cooperated today it was pretty quiet but it's not always that way so we do have another strong front headed our way later in the week you can find out more about that on our fox 26 weather and news apps as well also keep in mind you can find me always on social media twitter facebook instagram at ramisha shade tv at ramisha shade weather and at ramisha shade on instagram all right have a great evening Let's celebrate the Astros. They did a wonderful job. World champions right here in the city of Houston. Have a great one. Stay safe.